Okay. Now we will find the ROC. Come to the ROC after the confusion matrix. The ROC now. Now the ROC, uh, it's different from the one that we used for the regression previously. Why? Because here we are dealing with the uh, factors data, not the 0 and 1 is the numerical data. So we will do some kind of modification to find the ROC probability for the 0 and the 1. But here because it's just two values, so it will just focus on the value of the 1. So we will find now the prediction using the model and the testing data. Firstly, you run the ROC library. And then you start to predict as data frame the last model with the testing data using the probability. If you notice here in the confusion matrix, we use the raw but here we use the probability because we want to show as much as possible the probability of the value uh, using the ROC. The ROC using the probability. And that's why we need to define it here. Okay, so this is the, the code. You just run it for the predicted and the observed. The observed, it's the label, the testing data label. If you remember before, we added the testing data here, the uh, test uh, uh, data uh, labels, it was just about the value of the PM10 limit, so this is will be our observed, okay, and now this is the, the prediction, the prediction, we have, uh, sorry, uh, here we have the three classes, yes, uh, we are working on the uh, air pollution. Sorry, I mixed up. <laughs> Here we are uh, dealing with the uh, three classes. So in the three classes, we will show probability for each class. Okay, we will show the how much this good is accurate and the unhealthy and the very unhealthy. How much is accurate based on our classification. So you will uh, uh, notice uh, from the uh, ROC, we will plot the curve for each class. So you will understand that because we have a classification, so you will say that the model, for example, was very successful to classify the good areas from the surroundings and so on, or predict the area that it has a good limit of uh, uh, PM10 value. Let's see now how is the result, and we can just uh, talk about it. So the ROC, the ROC now uh, for the uh, moderate. Actually, what we have here, we have good, unhealthy, sensitive, very unhealthy. So let's just ch change this one because this is some previous uh, results for the moderate. We will take the relationship with the uh, moderate and the non-moderate. The unhealthy here, we don't have moderate, we have unhealthy sensitive. Okay, we will just copy and we change it here, unhealthy sensitive. Unhealthy, sensitive, it will be unhealthy, unhealthy, non unhealthy. Okay, and this is the prediction. We will check the prediction, what it has, and also the moderate. Let's just see the prediction actually. Let's just see the prediction. Yeah, the prediction has sorry, good, unhealthy, sensitive, very unhealthy. So we need to uh, change those values here for the good. ROC good, follow this one because it already we did 
here so it's clear for you start from this line let's make it easier for you to understand we start from we say ROC we want to find the ROC for the good areas the classification accuracy ROC give me the function of ROC if the prediction of the observed equal to the good and the non-good what is the observed between the differences between the 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 one that you predicted and the uh, the one that you observed and the prediction of good yes so which one it's follow which which of those category we want to uh, cross validate this two values again also for the moderate we don't have moderate we have uh, very unhealthy let's say like this because this is for the unhealthy sensitive let's say this is for the very unhealthy this is for very unhealthy We change everything with the very unhealthy. Any sort of moderate, we put instead it very unhealthy. Okay, done. What else? The last one, the unhealthy sensitive. This one and unhealthy sensitive okay so why I'm doing this for you because maybe your limits are different so you might get something like moderate hazards or unhealthy so you need to find the prediction what's the prediction is bringing to you the classes and change the classes accordingly so you should have the same name here for the classes copy it and change whatever similar to this uh, value so the unhealthy change it unhealthy very unhealthy non very unhealthy this is unhealthy uh, also for the un, uh, unhealthy sensitive unhealthy sensitive and the last one should be unhealthy sensitive as well in this case it will run smoothly now we will run this one yes okay this is normal this is not don't worry about this because they are saying that you have uh, different uh, variables that you are not including here if you see something called setting levels setting direction that's mean you did something well don't worry now we want to plot the first one which is the the good let's say the good the good is taking the green color the unhealthy will take the red and the very unhealthy let's say very unhealthy we want to take it this color we can change the colors also This is the problem it was just about the quotation there was just one space here it was making the problems now it's it's okay if it was just space here it was showing an error so be careful make sure that you accurately uh, follow the copy and paste without changing anything here make sure that the space is all there is no space between the quotation on the variable so now we come to the ROC and let's plot it and it came to us here so actually this is because of the limit yes let's take the orange this is the very unhealthy because we have X limit so actually we when we remove this X limits the uh, the plot will be clear just uh, with me now later on we will uh, make it much better uh, uh, unhealthy okay this is for the unhealthy sensitive copy unhealthy sensitive let's take it as a red color 
Okay, and the last one, the good, they take the green color. Okay. This is our ROC. The, here the zero, the value start from the one, okay, to the uh, zero here. So just ignore after this, just ignore the graph after this one. Okay, so when you when you put it in the uh, in the text, you can just copy the image, for example, and you can just paste it like this. Okay, and then you are free to remove this part because after zero, it's it's not countable. Okay, now you want to know the the value of the uh, ROC. Actually, here if you can change with the limits, as I said. For example, if you do the let's make the x limit to one. You see now it's go furthermore. So it was six. Yeah. Now it's correct. It came to here, so you can use it in this way. When you zoom in, all right. So you can do whatever you uh, have the format, or you make it uh, easier for you to put it in your document. Now we want to understand the area under the curve. Down the plot, and now the area under the curve. So the results will be the area under the curve for the unhealthy sensitive, unhealthy sensitive. ROC for the unhealthy and sensitive. Give me the OC and for the uh, uh, for the uh, very unhealthy also give me the value. We don't have moderate here. And we have the good already. So this is the results. Print the results. For the uh, very unhealthy sensitive, it reached into 93% of the accuracy. While for the very unhealthy, it's 93.8. And for the good, it's 95. Okay, so the good, it was the highest uh, uh, accuracy or the highest prediction value in this model. So for you, uh, also if you want to add the legend here, you can just uh, <coughs> add this text. You can just uh, uh, unhealthy, sensitive, and you put the value you have 93. And for the very unhealthy, You have 90, almost 94. And the good, you have 95. And follow the colors. Make sure that it match, the colors match. So good, it take the green. Very unhealthy, it took this code. And the unhealthy sensitive, take the red. That it will make your legend correct yes and then also you can change the inset you want to bring it here up down whatever okay so far so good so now we got the uh, roc for the prediction and also we optimized the model using the optimized parameters 